gonna smoke with me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on Gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I got my natural case I got the hogs on the Barbecue pitboys.com. Today we're cooking up some hot, hot bacon dogs at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, of course, you want to get your uh, kettle grill set up here. We're doing indirect grilling here, right? We got two zones cold zone and a hot zone. You know all about that, right? <laughs> all right, kettle's ready. Now, Today we're doing perhaps the most popular food for grilling anywhere in the States. It's the hot dog. And they're always done the same, same old way. But we're going to change it up a bit. We got some bacon. And here we've got some natural casing dogs. Use your favorite hot dog on this. Or wiener. Alright. Or frankfurter. Definitely treat yourself to the best. After all, you're cooking for yourself at the pit. Now... To make these hot, hot bacon dogs, you want to split them down the middle, not all the way through. Just like that. See? Real easy to do, right? You just take a knife, split it all the way down, but not through the dog. And I'll show you why here in a second. All right, the dogs have been split. Now we're gonna make a hot sauce. We're gonna use a hot mustard sauce here. And to this yellow mustard, I'm adding horseradish. All right, a hot horseradish. And to make this even hotter, I'm adding some habanero chipotle sauce. Use your favorite hot sauce. You could use a ghost chili. Oh man. Or just a red pepper sauce. This is what we call pit master privilege. Get them hot. Now, I've already painted these once to get them nice and uh, spicy and I'm hitting them again, just like that. Just use a paintbrush. Now, we're gonna interlace these dogs, right? Interlace, just like that. And of course, good dog is not complete without some bacon and so in order to hold these two dogs together we're gonna wrap it in a few slices of bacon just like that oh, yeah. oh baby I think uh, you know where we're going with this right now if you've never had one of these hot hot bacon dogs before, you definitely got to check this out and make a bunch. Your family and friends are going to love them. And they reheat real well too. <laughs> yeah. So again, give them some wraps and you squeeze it just a little bit and this will hold it together real nice during the cook. Oh yeah. No more of those plain old, plain old dogs. Let me uh, give you a closer shot of this. I told you it's real easy to do. Just wrap it with some pork belly bacon. Just like that. All right. These hot, hot bacon dogs are ready for the grill. Now, we're gonna place these opposite the hot coals. You have to do this for it to work correctly. We want the bacon to slowly constrict around these dogs, and it's gonna take a while. We're gonna run a temperature of about 275 degrees Fahrenheit, no higher, or they'll bust apart. And through the miracle of time, these hot, hot bacon dogs are done. We've toasted up some uh, rolls here. Man, 
Okay. I say it's time to put these together. Now it took uh, over an hour, maybe a little bit more to do these. You have to be patient. Again, you want the bacon to thoroughly cook and slowly constrict around these dogs. If you go at a much higher temperature, like I said, they'll blow apart. So plenty of time to knock down a few beers while you're waiting for these to cook. All right. The dogs are loaded in the buns. Now. This is the good part. Choose your favorite condiments. <clears throat> I'm gonna add a little bit more mustard. That sounds good. Here I've got some kraut. Some good sauerkraut. Load it up. And the Vegematics are gonna like this. Look at all these veggies. How about some diced onion? Or some diced red bell pepper? Here I've got some relish. Man. How about some chili? I heated up a pan of meat chili here. Nothing like a chili hot, hot bacon dog. Man. Throw some more diced onion on there. Again, this is Pitmaster Privilege. Choose your favorite condiments. Mm relish and I say it's time to eat <laughs> and we do apologize for eating in front of you like this but we call this pit master privilege So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.